Hi, I'm Cash with Cashed Out Cars, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a blower motor resistor in a Mark V Volkswagen. So if you get in your car and go to turn the blower onto setting 1, 2, or 3, and get absolutely nothing, and then go to 4 and get full blast, this resistor right here is probably your problem. So like I said, in this video, we're gonna go through how to replace it. It requires no tools and it's about a five minute job, so it's super easy. Let's get right into it. The very first thing to do is to go under your glove box and remove this little foam trim panel that is under the glove box, which allows you to access your blower motor resistor and your cabin air filter. To remove this, there are some little twist screws on here. And once again, you don't need any tools to remove any of this. And you just untwist them until they come out and then the foam piece will come right out. So now we got the two little screws out and the foam piece just slides back and down and you could pull that right out. Now you have access to your blower motor resistor and that is this piece right here. And the very first thing to do is to disconnect this wiring harness by simply pushing the two tabs on the outside in and pulling down until it pulls out. Now you could remove your blower motor resistor, which is this white part right here that you see. And you do that by simply pushing this tab in, sliding the resistor over, and pulling it straight down. Now you could install your new blower motor resistor. I got mine off of eBay for around 10 bucks, and I've provided a link in the description where you could get the same one off of Amazon. It's super easy to do this. Simply take your new resistor and slide it up into the slot where the old one came out push it up into place there's a little notch that you have to line up in the plastic and then slide it over and it will lock in and that's all you have to do to install your new blower motor resistor the very last thing to do is to reconnect the wiring harness by simply pushing it up into place you'll hear it click and then you're good to go now you could reinstall that foam trim piece and you should be good to go your heat will work as normal and you should be able to use all your settings that's it for this video. I hope it was easy enough for you to follow. Uh, like I said, it's a very easy and quick job to replace one of these blower motor resistors, and um, you'll finally have good heat and good AC again. So please leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you liked it. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel by buying a t-shirt or some stickers, and subscribe for more. I hope you stick around for the next one.